Today I spend 100 days in grounded, but not only that, I fully commit to the hardest difficulty known as woe mode. From dying to ladybugs which felt like complete overkill, or spiders that cheesed me way too many times while out for a hunt. My goal was to tackle the first and hardest lab, which in my opinion was the blank anthill location. So looking death in their beady eyes as we die to the overwhelming poison, and finding a very new part of the map with wasps and their drones. I was about to learn just how much Grounded 1.3 had to offer. So without further ado, I spent 100 days in Grounded WoW mode and here's what happened. From selecting what mode to play on and choosing which character to use, it felt like I'd never left. So as we arrived in a suitcase attached to a parachute, I was more than ready to tackle this giant backyard once more. <laughs> Investigate my surroundings. With my eyes immediately hooked to some aphids, this would be my first distraction of the day. Looking for a murder weapon to do some PG-13 things with. Oh, they're gonna fall on... Can I... No. Can I hit this though? Whee! <laughs> I got one. I worked on crafting an axe next, chopping down planks and using a nearby field station to research for more recipes. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's almost like this game knew that big creepy shadows would scare me. Ooh, did I speak too soon? I'll kill you. Stupid bird, I'll kill you. While needing a base in Grounded was necessary, it's something we didn't do for quite a while. In the meantime, I built what I needed in the moment and placed a few important things around this rock. Of course, I would soon come to learn that having an open fire with no walls, certain bugs would try to steal my food. If that wasn't bad enough, the first night of Grounded came as quickly as the day went. Day two here, I was trying to figure out a way to get all the lasers focused on one spot. Turns out I was really just hungry for this gnat flying around. Finding a few more goodies from different parts of acorns, the recipes slowly came in. Ooh, and we got arrows! Oh, even better! You wait until night, there's so many gnats at the light by the tree. Yeah, but then there's spiders by the tree. Come on now, what is this? <laughs> it's also woe mode. So how could I not try my luck by fighting the most ferocious insect ever? Okay, I really don't like that weapon, goddamn. Oh god. Don't do it. I'm panicking, dude. I, I'm not used to having no damage. That is so... Hello. There was absolutely no way I could kill a spider, even if just a junior right now. Between this beautiful human being by the name of Yoshi Jones gifting a membership on stream and me slurping like a crazed person on stream, I did it. I found a thing. The big oak log that sat full of mites and a feather I would inevitably have to give up. As the new morning approached us and gave me hope, I started my day off right. As much as I didn't choose it, the Red Ant Club would be the choice of weapon. I wouldn't know it yet, but the ants would be the easier bunch of insects to fight. From worker ants to the big beefy soldier ants, these guys had hops. Why are you bouncing on each other? Stop it. While the weapon was important, I wasn't about to give the red ants any satisfaction of killing me this early on. No, that went to the mites. Whoa, okay, I don't remember this many here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please be gentle. Yeah, okay, we're good. Now with things cleared up, Burgle was about to be in play. We did build our very first chest, storing as much as we could away and darting off in the direction of the explosion. The Oak Lab had it all upon entry, from lots of pink lights smothering the area to security cameras set up in each lab. This last thing was wild. Slurp. Ooh, they also added water slurp machines. Ooh, hello. While giving Burgle a hand as he explained how things work, I noticed the revamping of quests. A lot more that put the biggest smile on my face. The next big task for us was looking to upgrade our gear. It was definitely costly, but it would also take me a good chunk of change. So for the time being, it was all about researching more things to gain more levels. I needed level 2 tools, weapons, and equipment stat. Nearing the end of the day, I found myself by some water, digging up any pieces of clay I could around. With a big haul of just that, we made our way back back home and just in time too whoa what's what is happening over here oh this means they're eating the food okay 
couldn't tell you why, but after that ant fight, my brain was telling me I was ready for a big orb weaver. I'm guessing you know how that would go. The next day, I found myself trying to gather my things. With all that we collected the previous day, we were about to have our very first bow. As much as I loved bows and even had me thinking of a full ranger build, I knew both melee and range was needed. Sadly, this next part was neither of those. This might take a while. If we were going to kill a ladybug on this difficulty, I was going to need some help. Help, here it was. The funkiest looking armor yet and with a pair of aphid booties. Feeling the true weight of this two-handed weapon had me feeling strong and unstoppable. I was killing ants left, right, and center. It probably wasn't the smartest thing for me to try and stand my ground here. What? There was another- Oh god, okay. Hopefully my bag is still there. As fed up as I was, if we wanted to live longer, then what we needed were more mites for some potion making and some good old-fashioned thistle for more arrows. A big saving grace for this game was potions, but not only that, water and food. And what better thing than this? All right, we got the canteen. I think this is how we do it, right? We go back up to this. We don't hit slurp. We go and... Oh, here we go. Yeah. The best source of healing at the time was chunks of meat, filling both my hunger, but also a good amount of HP. For portions throughout the video, you'll see me get overly excited for a lot of the same stuff in my other grounded video, so don't mind that. The last time I attempted the pawn lab, I died so much to the point of giving up, never realizing that I had to progressively farm up for better breathing equipment. I was about to over-prepare with these two spinning wheels, which meant that I needed more cobwebs. Ever so carefully, I ran up to some webs and made a quick getaway with what I could. All in all, quite the big accomplishment today. Just before the day started, we ran down a few weevils for the good stuff, cooking up the remains and making our way back to the pond. I was about to have a heck of a time fighting floating bell spiders and any other insect I could find. Yeah, it's gotta be the spider. Spider folks, he's still a little fin fin flopper, fin flop flim please. Okay, it wasn't you. Well, I mean, you're cool. It was these guys. It was these. Oh, these ones are freaky. They got little blubby, blubbery thingies inside them. We got it. Yeah, we got a water boatman fin. While things were looking good and all seemed right in the world, both from leveling up at the field station and forgetting to peep a creature. This is where it all went wrong. Okay, so resistance to stabby, salty, spicy, but weakness is busting and fresh. So busting would be this. Ooh, I messed up. I was pretty mad by this point on, and my only thought was a shield. Maybe that could help. So after not one or two, but many more weevils, we finally crafted up that shield. The ladybug was prone to both a shield for doing less damage and our mallet for busting damage buff. As fates would have it, that's not exactly the insect I went for. There we go. Oh, 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 I didn't put food on. Oh, I didn't put the food on. Also, daggers stink as damage. Don't ever use daggers as damage. It's like this game didn't want me to have a good time. Oh, one hit. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be so tough because like I don't know how to do this. With a red ant club in both hands, the only way I thought to take this ladybug down was the red ants themselves. The process was a bit dreadful, but you know what? It worked. Better than I actually could have imagined. We might be able to take them out with the ants. This is what you have to do. In this game, we just take ants and ladybugs and pit them together. Yeah, there we go. I started feeling dangerous here. Me and my two-hander. There we go, ladybug. Not one, but two spiders to finish off the night. Ooh, there we go. All right. I mean, good thing we had the HPs, man. I'm telling you, these things are lifesavers. They're not hard to come by at all. They respawn so quickly, so there really is no point in, like, just holding on to them. Next on my list was a bombardier. I wasn't exactly prepared for the first time, so the next go-around would be perfect timing. Oh, there we go. Man, I always get you on the wrong thing. 
All right, all right, come here. Yeah, fancy death. We need more parts, please. The biggest help that had me going from dying to now surviving and actually killing bigger bugs was the healing. Cooked food and then using them as potions was by far the best idea yet. Can I kill too? Really? My stamina is out because of that. Yes, finally. All those arrows, I gotta go get them. Or, well, do I have to really? Not really. Was I ready for this? Who knows? All I knew is I needed help from the neighborly red ants. Attack him, attack him, not me, attack him, not me, attack him, not me. Yeah! Ooh, we did it again. Ah. Go, 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 go. Go, gotta 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 go, I don't care if things expired. I don't even need the arrows anymore. Taking care of a few things back at base, sifting through some inventory and chests alike. I was about to have the score of a lifetime, at least for the building portion of Grounded. Analyze. Here we go. This is what we wanted, guys. Oh my goodness. Finally got stairs. It was also a matter of time until we had a red ant armor set. Red ant, baby. Now, how many can we get? Uh, oh my God. No way. I never had the full suit on before. We can carry 14 pieces. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's, it's okay. It's even too much for my screen. Let me just go back to first person. This is where my progress took a hit because now I was stuck on building a stairway to heaven, which would become the biggest distraction of them all. Mind you, the stairs did actually come along nicely and I even managed to throw up some scaffolding. Unfortunately, they looked more like a sore thumb. Between all the back and forth with stems to grass chunks, that red ant armor helped so much more than I thought. Though from the progress I was making, something that I would soon need was a zip line. But first, we needed to complete the building of this bridge. But I attempted to do a bit more peeping. But you know what they say about peeping toms? You get big insects thrown at you who want to eat you alive or worse. So with the two close encounters from larva and the next big insect being the bombardier, I felt like I needed a break. It turned out that my breaks looked more like this. So with a couple more trips up and down the biggest stairs in Grounded to date, we finally met and made love to the tree. I'm just kidding. We only made love to the tree. With a new day here and more arrows to my name, I was about to have another great idea. Why not attack something from the thing I built? Oh, I'm definitely reloading that. Okay. <laughs> after that, it was death after death until the beasts slowly met their match. Me. Yes. We got it. 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 Got it. Stinger, stinger, stinger. After a bit more research at a field station, the hedge was calling my name. And so were some berries. Making our ascent up the actual hedge was the easy part. The hard part was facing our first enemy. Please no. Please no. Please no. Oh my god. Ow. Whoa. Good thing I brought HP stuff. Thankfully, we didn't die and found the exact thing we would need. Oh, it's a power. Yo, we just found the power that fast? Yo, Stranger Things. Let's go. Ooh. Between the spiderlings on a giant frisbee and a few more jumps across branches, we made it straight into the lab. Hold on. Berry. 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 And berry. Now, if I wasn't angry then, I sure would be now. Well, there's the death I knew I'd come. <laughs> I need HP. We needed to get through the treacherous and back towards the hedge once more. The ascent up top was easy and finding my stuff back inside the lab, you better believe I made quick work with the rest of the robots. Okay. All right, now we can pick up more stuff. Thank you. As we cleared out the majority of what was left inside this lab, or at least I thought, I found all the passwords and made it to the machine. Yes, okay, hedge chip, here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, so this is a super chip? Not what I was expecting, but hey, it gets me home. Firmware for super duper machine home. in Oak Lab. Wait, an oak lab? Loading disk activates the machine software, increases the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex objects. This is new. Now we gotta go back to... Uh, 
Burgle. Upgrade, retrieve super chip, go back to Burgle. Carefully finding a way back down from outside the lab was super easy because of this corridor leading us straight to the ground. So as I made my way back towards base, we snagged a few more goodies and said goodbye. All right, we got the other locations, gave them the chip. So insert super disc. Oh, this is the new thing. Updating firmware. What? It, I don't know what it's doing, but it, oh. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So spend raw science to duplicate an object. You can duplicate? What? Dude, why cheat when they give that option to you? That's actually so cool. Oh no, look, cost to duplicate is 150. I mean, if you have an abundance, like maybe they have updated the game now where you can just keep getting raw science, which is awesome. Another issue I ran into was the zip line at the bottom of our stairs needed to be slightly elevated. I still had plans for better armor, and what better bug than that? A sweet, sweet ladybug. Yes. No, not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. All there was left to do was watch the ants devour this thing. Ooh, they got it. I may have gotten a little carried away as I took a few swings at the red ants, okay? But the rinse repeat process was great while luring these ladybugs to their death. Here we go, the army of ants. You see this? Look at this. This is what happens when you get red ants together, okay? <laughs> oh. I will say that the ladybugs did start to catch on, and that led me to trying to cheese them a bit. Come on, run into the hole again. Yee, there we go. Well, back to running up the stairs and taking a few more shots at some bees. Stingers and bee fuzz would definitely come in handy, and what better way to do that than near our spawn? Killing off just a few more insects around the backyard, we had just enough parts to repair our axe. This would be our bread and butter for the time being, seeing that it was level two. Taking aim once more and bringing another ladybug to their demise, I was loving the way of killing ladybugs. If I couldn't do it, I knew others could. While I was loving the little back and forth game, we still needed to craft the ladybug armor. With a few petals nearby from fallen stems of roses, we had just the amount to start building this set of armor. Taking a little bit of a gamble here, the next insect I wanted to fight was a stink bug. They were absolutely brutal and without a gas mask, things could turn so quickly. <laughs> I snuck the kill, even with the poison. I knew this was mean, but the amount of times I used the red ants to my advantage was a bit unfair. I mean, just look at this. You're dead. Because the gas. The gas is a... Oh, I love the gas. You know what? Maybe I do have a problem. New armor and a dream. We took that dream to a big shovel, giving us a standing ovation. I'm going to be honest, completely forgot I have to knock the shovel down again. <laughs> I think we need bombs, something like that. Because I remember the shovel falling and then us having to walk onto it. This would slow down everything because bombs were needed and the resources for such a thing came at a price. The two biggest things being fungal growth and red ant eggs. Figured I might as well steal some red ant eggs. Finishing off the night, I was a bit hesitant in taking them in, so I left them for another day. With a bit of hydration and some repairs to our gas mask, it was time to see what all the fuss was about. Whoa, 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 actually. Yep, yep, I know, I know, I know. There's an explodey guy. Oh. We also struck gold with these little creepy crawlers. It might. Wait, what are you? Oh, you guys give me fungal growth too? No way. Oh, this is so much easier. Between the field station and what we gathered, I felt like I could see the end of the rainbow. Or so I hoped. Giving my armor some upgrades, it was only a matter of time before I got too beefy. The red ants were also a huge fan of us taking their eggs. Okay, this is a lot of ants. I didn't sign up for this. 
seeing that these eggs had some durability, we had to get to making bombs right away. Yeah, two bombs is like more than enough. That's good. We'll leave them there. All right, now for the fun part. Fire in the hole! Ooh. Oh, wee! Yo, that's a strong bomb. Holy smokes. Okay. It's like Grounded was playing a big trick on me. Progress in the game and immediately die afterwards. Oh my God, there's so many bees. So many. The next day was filled with new possibilities and so much more. And you're done. Bop. Woo, killed our ladybug. I'm not afraid of them anymore. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, hello. I think it's the gold ones we can't do. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, 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 where, where, where is it? Did anybody see where it went? It went up and then it just didn't come back down. My plan was simple. Anything we wanted to duplicate, we could. The only thing was to make sure we had just a single piece left in case we needed more later down the road. Even with some upgrades to my weapons, I started taking full advantage of all the wind. Was I ready for another round of bees? These cute and cuddly creatures that would give me the stink eye if aggroed? Ooh, okay, finally. We're making some progress here. Good enough, we'll have to go over there. But for now, this is cool. Ooh, do I have to hit this one too? Oh, <gasps> yes, we do. Oh, you know what we're going to need? I think we're going to need uh, cobweb. We're going to have to create a zip line. That's right. Oh, we had a maze standing tall and in front of us. A feather, don't mind if I do. That was close. Almost got splooshed all over. I don't want to be splooshed. I want to do the splooshing. Ooh, got him. All right. Hello. Just before diving into the sandbox and sizzling to death, we had a few loose ends to tie up. I want that molar. Give me that molar. Yeah, that I definitely can't get, but one of these days. The quick trip back to our base, we had everything ready for our descent into that sandbox. Oh. <gasps> Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes, roly poly, and it's busting. Yeah, look at that. All right, super time. Wee! <laughs> look at us go, baby. Wait, is it almost nighttime? Oh, it is. That's why it's gone down. I definitely couldn't tell you I was ready, but more so just getting my feet a little wet. Now, if you notice the webcam at this part, the reason for that is when I streamed on Twitch and YouTube, I forgot to remove the webcam portion. But with the zip line finally set up and ready to be used, we did a bit more duplication tactics, putting away all we had and making our way back towards the picnic table, dodging a mosquito on the path and carefully trying to not aggro a single bee. From everything we gathered and picked up from the black ants, progress was being made. My plan was to defeat the assistant manager so we could open the assistant manager's room. With only seconds left before dying, we needed any source of close water. The biggest thing to help would become the smoothie station, allowing for us to create a variety of potions and give us such a well-earned buff. That took us to gathering different chunks of clay, to hunting down all the little mites, and then breaking any pebbles close to our base. With the new day here, it was all about searching the black ant hill some more, finding a way deeper into those tunnels. Bum, 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 bum. I'm stealing your food. Yo, I'm... <laughs> oh my god! No, 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 no. I don't care. I just, I want the food now. No! I'm full already? Ah! No! I found myself looking through the different tufts, trying to find that specific trinket. Dandelion Fluffy! Hey! Oh! <gasps> How do we... Did we just keep it in inventory? All we had to do now was sort through everything we picked up from nights before, and let me tell you, there was some juicy stuff there. With a little more leather needed, we were back inside the hedges, shooting down any berries in sight and praying no spider would spot us. You want to fight with me? Be careful of that spider up ahead. Never. Hi. Oh, no, 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 don't shoot me with your web. Okay, go. All right. Let's keep moving, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. I know this probably looked like I was about to die, but this was the safest run for resources yet. If we wanted any type of potions to be made, then we would still need grub casings for craft. There were a few locations under the tree and all were easy enough to dig up and take back with us. Not knowing if this was too early into my playthrough or really late into the game, I hope this would be the only one. I think, we're under attack. I think they're upset at me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Larva payback. 
now looks like oh god they're destroying the stairs oh no 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 is that it i hope that's it oh boy oh boy oh boy not a fan guys not a fan at all with the stairs taking damage and being broken down my mind went straight to a giant protective wall would i actually build one you'll have to wait and see with bombs being our priority to get into the next area we needed more fungal growth i'd be lucky to make it out alive of this place but not without a few deaths added to my name making it to the end of the fungal growth spot our inventory was looking stacked and i finally stopped dying now all we needed were some more red ant eggs Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Stole your eggs, stole your eggs, stole your eggs. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Ooh, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Stole your eggs, stole your eggs, stole your eggs. Oh my god, gotta run, gotta wait. I just went in a circle, gotta run, gotta run. How did I miss this last time? Well, I mean, I didn't come down here. That's how I missed it. But hey, how did I miss this last time? A burgle. What? Okay. Holy crap. Yo, I did. Oh my god. As we had bombs galore at the ready, we made our way back to the shovel. Dealing with too many bees and ziplining for our life. The sizzle hurt, but not as much as this next part did. Bum -ba -da -bum. Oh my god! Yeah, I need my shield on, please. Dealing with all the robots inside this lab, we eventually found ourselves caught up with too many black ants. Especially those soldier jerks. I didn't attack you, you attacked me. I'm going in. Leave me alone. Don't come in, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Really? Juiced up and ready to go again, we needed more bombs to get deeper into this black anthill lab. First, I did a little yoinking of their food. I mean, with the amount they brought in every day, how could I not? I finally got so lucky to find the entrance to the assistant manager's arena. Okay, I still have no vision. <laughs> still have, but I killed them. So we're good. <gasps> yes, please. Milk molar. Mega milk molar. Oh, this one's got to make a noise. Come on. Nope, they got rid of it. God, or maybe my game's bugged. I'm going to go with they got rid of it because my game's never bugged. <laughs> Kidding. Of course it's bugged. Button. Ta-da! Yeah, the assistant manager fights and we need glass. Well, sorry, bomb for glass. Okay, so now we can go back and get, uh, get it all done. You want to know what a good idea looked like at the time? Okay, 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 okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Already? An antidote. Not feeling good at all. Wait, oh, the poison, the poison, the poison. I didn't even realize the poison. Don't be fooled off that first death there, because I slowly became someone to reckon with. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Dang, son, that poison is so freaking annoying. Oh, 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 oh. Between that new perk and the parries made, the wolf spiders surprisingly died as quickly as they came. Not to mention the milk molar we would go into finding and even using at a fuel station. The next morning, I found two silly insects fighting one another. I may have had a helping hand in that too. <gasps> you actually won. <laughs> You killed yourself. Okay, cool. With more potions being crafted up in hand, the plan was to head back into the sandbox. I needed antlion parts for this special weapon of mine. We also had just the sword to take these bugs down. I was definitely happy with all that we collected, but it wouldn't be enough just yet. This new sword needed some series pincers. I will say the new sizzle armor had me looking quite spiffy, and I loved the cowboy cowgirl we had going on. The only thing left to do was to get ourselves ready with a miner's cap. Time to rain arrows from the sky once more i'm just going for all of the fireflies now i'm not holding back dude i am like killing these things crazy leave it to some bees to double team me i didn't plan on fighting the bees right now i just wanted my stuff back and for us to grab as many pincers as we could i guess pincers were also more rare than not because after the countless fights we had i only managed to pull in a single pincer from all those ant lions i wasn't about to give up here though as we still needed more pincers for the great sword slaying a bee while climbing back up the picnic table and stopping a black ant in its traps we made it giving our new mining helmet a go to see how well it worked in the dark i can 100 say this thing worked like a charm 
Now, if it only helped me take less damage instead of more. With all those antlines that died and taking back as much as we could, I had to know if we farmed up enough. This was by far one of the hardest fights I'd ever have, and one that felt so satisfying to finally win. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I killed him. Where's my backpack? Is it in here? It is in here. Somewhere. <gasps> Peeping makes me the spider's little... awake! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Oh, oh that's another spider. Oh my god. 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 Let's see what we can find. You could have it. You can have it. You can have the territory. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment whoa down below. Just before the next morning touched down, now I was more than prepared and with an upgrade or two to the weapon itself. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it took so long, but this is the weapon I was using before. I remember that people didn't like I was using the red ant club so much, and then I switched to the lion greatsword. This lion greatsword is absolutely amazing. With our level three weapon, it was time to plan out resources for more potions. Let's just say I gathered up a good amount for days to come. With 50 plus potions, you best believe I was ready to tackle this assistant manager boss and finally get that darn key. I know a lot of you are going to be confused with what lab I did first, but I really wanted that zipline ascension, okay? Here I was, blowing a hole into the glass panel and making my way inside. The ants were easy enough. The boss, however, now this took me by complete surprise. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa! Holy crap! That really does a lot of damage. My goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I kill the one? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Everything hurts. Everything really hurts. No! Yes, 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 yes. Give me all your goodies. Can I turn this off or on? I don't know, man. All right, he's like, here's what we're going to do. Get some water, put that food back, get some food. After all that farming we did, I half expected the fight to take at least half as long. This was insane and absurd, and I wanted my money back. Oh, <gasps> black and super chip. With that said, and now done, the door was finally open to the assistant manager's lab. Let's go look at this. Boom. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. The sandbox burgle chip. That's what we needed. I kid you not, that's the entire reason for wanting to finish that lab and get Get the key which i didn't even realize but it was actually hidden away inside the lab with burgle oh maybe this is it uh grab that and then oh it is oh my god the zip oh <laughs> that's exactly what i needed wanted oh all this time Funny enough, just before actually using the zipline, of all things, this would happen. Um, this is going to be an issue then. Oh, crap. This is all in the way. This might also hurt a few people, but that entire plan was based off of me being able to transport the grass chunks and stems. With everything so high, there was no way this was going to work. So a lot more manual labor was about to happen and I was tired, man. Okay, let me just... <laughs> so as the days went on, one after the next, the base was slowly being built all around the tree with so many grass planks. The amount of chopping we did had me dying internally, but it was all worth it to show you the progress I was making. On top of that, I had a vision of where I was building some stem wall. Getting some contrast to the place and making it pop more was the plan. With that out of the way, walls and all, I was planning on putting up some more portraits for some fun buffs. All we did from here on out was moving everything from the ground to our new base. The last thing that actually had me scared here was how much I damaged my floors. Having come so far, I started to organize everything around, from chests to the benches themselves. Last but not least, the food. We hung everything we could on some drying racks. 
As we needed more cobwebs, the spiders would not stand a chance against my antlion sword. This thing was a beast and my favorite part about it was the new animation they added to the weapon. I remember how clunky and odd it was back then, but now it was just slaying everything from top to bottom. Even this bombardier didn't stand a chance. I needed myself a real challenge, and let and behold, I would eventually find that. For now, we could add the webs to our spinning wheels, as the next part of my plan was setting up anchor points in each direction of the hedge. Having the zip lines connect every main location was the key to all of this. As we cleared out more from the hedges once more, we dropped down and looked for the perfect spot with our new zip line connector. All we had to do now was travel back to our base and connect the two. The real reason for traveling all the way back to the sandbox was for materials and repairs. We needed a few more black ants and ant lions laying about. I'd say the biggest change about all this was the zip line slowly starting to save me time. We also needed berry leather and what better way to Tarzan over and shoot a couple more berries down. It didn't get better than this. Still in need of plenty of cobwebs, the best place for that was still the hedges. There were multiple places I'd left untouched and now we could finally conquer those areas. I did miss a lot of stuff the first time around, so coming back for another visit was perfect timing. Between the cobwebs, a molar, and spiders galore, I had time to kill. My inventory also looked so delicious. The next area I'd have a zip line going to was the picnic table and the charcoal pit. It also helped me so much more than I first thought was a mannequin. The quick switch with armor was nice and instant. While I did farm up a bunch more grass planks, my character was missing a few upgrades. This was a wacky experience I was about to have with some bees. Stuff I just never expected. With a nice quiet and chill day today, we ate some food and put more on the drying rack. The next big task I would work on and one that gave us a closer transport was a zipline going directly to a larva cave. Thing was, the zipline was a bit too small and that left me with only one idea. Build a bigger platform. Starting with the foundations was the easy part. The hard part came after placing all the walls to only realize the connector was unsupported. I needed stability below the build and so that's what I did. A giant wall just that and one that would hopefully work. Now we just had to test the sucker out. Okay, I gotta try this out, see if this zipline works. Oh, right. We can't stand on that side. Hopefully we can come up. I can't stand there because of the bottom part, but should be okay, I think. This is perfect. I'm going to get rid of that bush thing. That thing is going down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. With most of the materials we had and the eggs gathered, I managed to come up with six more bombs. I knew it right here oh my god i knew we had bombs okay this was a huge win and would take us very far that same zipline we built was housing something evil more larvas than ever before and between them and me was a bomb Ooh, that's a lot of larva hit the one come on not not 30 of you i just need one Oh, nope, no, 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 not that many, not that many, not that many. <laughs> You're kidding, right? As you may have noticed by now, my webcam was on. I had a fresh new haircut and we had to take care of some stink bugs. With the gas mask slowly losing its durability from all those stink bugs, I had just the repairs for it. I wasn't done there though, because more stink bugs still lived and I needed to put an end to it. That same day, we picked up the leftover mints and finally took them back to base. As more days passed, I took some time chopping down loads and loads of grass planks, lugging them back up to the base for me to finish up, and then started moving our drying racks and campfires to that same corner. Taking a few more stems in hand, we finished up the other side of the walls. Moving a few bug mounts to the other side, I even organized all of our chests inside this little area, sprucing it up with a few pieces of furniture. Hey, look at us go. <laughs> That scared me for a second. But the next build, I was trying to figure out a spot for some aphid statues. Not sure where I was going with this, but it looked good. I also built quite a few mannequins behind this little house, giving me a place to finally hang our other sets of armor in miscellaneous pieces. Something that was about to change my view on carry capacity in this game was the hulling mutation and how to actually get it. Ooh, these give all cozy, 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 smoothie. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, okay. Hold on. Oh, that was the same thing. Yo, that man's voice makes me horny. Oh. Having that exact mutation on changed the entire game and honestly would have saved me so much time. Hey, I can hold 24 now. Ooh, that's amazing. I was also doing a little exploring, trying to show off an arachnid mode. Let's see what we can find. Wait, are those it? <laughs> what the fudge? They're like big saps. Here we go.
<laughs> it's kind of silly. <laughs> it's kind of silly. I honestly couldn't believe how much I was able to carry and build with. Not only with my character, but also moving the pallet full of planks was a lifesaver. The back of the base was nearly done in just a few minutes time. With another full run of chopping planks down and then setting them down upstairs, you just have to see this for yourself. <gasps> oh, shit. Ooh, I caught myself. Uh, I'm stuck. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh. Up, 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 up. I need stamina. So many spiders. I hear demons. So oh, I'm gonna die. As much as I wanted to keep building, I knew that Don't people wanted content, Don't and that's exactly where I was headed. Gas mask on, a twinkle in my eye, and a weapon at the ready. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Man. Ooh, what? Honey, I'm home. What's that do? Ooh. 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 Wait a minute. It probably would have helped if I stopped getting hit by all the explodey stuff. So while I did want to stay and fight, I figured we could head back home and set up a quick zip line to this lab. Something out of the way that wouldn't exactly kill me from fall damage. I had just the place in mind and with everything at the ready, time was a go. Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Why did- Wow, you little bitch. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Sorry, excuse my language. Cover your ears. I said something bad. <laughs> I mean, it's too late, but son of a... And now I don't have to walk back, sort of. I still have to find my way onto this thing and then take it over. But this is a start, you know? This is a start. Okay, now, <laughs> now I'm ready. <gasps> Let's do this. And that's... Oh, that's the swimming route. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh my God. You are beautiful. Woo, holy crap. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ooh, chasing me. Oh, there's all, oh, there's other stuff, there's other stuff, there's other stuff. I wish I knew this. I gotta go for the eyes so you don't like headshots. Those are the weak points. Two, one. Oh, oh. there we go. <laughs> hey. All right, now let's get our arrow. Truffle. By the end of this fight and exploring the lab, I was just happy to have a bow and arrow. Sleeping would start to reveal more about the story with Tully and Dr. Spector. We got another one. This is nice. I like this. Oh, Tim. Oh, gosh. These specimens are the breakthrough we've been looking for, just like you predicted. We're close to eliminating the raisining problem. Our team was up all night recalibrating the spacer. I see. Of course, my hypothesis was correct. I hope all of you remember this moment the next time you question my methods. Now then, what progress has been made on Kobolin space expansion? How did Dr. Wendell Tully, a lifetime failure, best the brightest minds at Ominent? Yes, sir. Uh, we're still working on that formula. I know it's been months, but the embiggen process is far more complicated and dangerous than we predicted. Ah, uh, too bad for you, little ones. Prepare the specimens. The specimen? Excuse me? This guy is the worst. This isn't what I signed up for. Getting out of my comfort zone the next day, we needed berries that covered all of the hedges, shooting them down and picking up what I could. On the corner of the hedge, I did happen to run into some friends. Okay, why were you guys over here and like, were you, oh, compliance officer, snapshot, hold on. Just for old time's sake, I had to do it again with another ladybug. What do you want from me? It was very addictive, okay? The reason for all this walking around was for us to finally build a connecting zip line from our base to the picnic table. This was the beautiful results from setting up a new zip line. Now, will our feet touch this? Are we good? <gasps> so good not exactly how i planned it but you get the gist of it with a new morning here we gathered as many pieces of clay around the area taking all we had back to the base and prepping some potions this new place i was planning to get into was about to show me how powerless i felt and was oh yeah the sleeping demons here oh <laughs> and we're oh we didn't take any water 
okay. Oh, yo, I'll come back for that molar. Well, hmm, maybe. We've got you, the roly polies. So roly poly is a busting, fresh, salty, spicy, hairy. Oh, Jesus. Yo, I can't kill these guys. Stabbing, 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 stabbing. Here we go. Oh, they're so strong. What? Oh my God. As much as I wanted to return and get all the new toys, our base needed a bit more finishing touches. Some double walls to give the place a bit more height and then filling in the tops with some clover roofs. The place actually looked really nice and it even surprised me. With a few light sources to kick off the night, place number one would be done. The next day, I actually started messing around with building more furniture pieces and then trying to figure out what these stuffed bugs were all about. I had no idea how strong these builds were, but having these stuffed insects built around the base was one of the best things I never used before. Cool. Next on the to-do list was setting up some sap collectors that would eventually give us great amounts of sap whenever needed. Afterwards, we looked towards a grinder and moved our spinning wheels to another corner. This next build took me a lot longer than expected. A place for all, if not most, our cooking stations. Having stairs leading up towards the top floor, platforms going all across for some more space, and trying to figure out the best way to either build walls or awnings around the floor. I didn't want to feel cramped or claustrophobic inside. So with a fair amount of stems being placed, the roof really started coming together. Now I felt ready. Live or die, it didn't matter because I needed to get into the next area and find a way to get me some charcoal. All we had to do now was wait for more webs and then attach them to the opposing zip lines. From zip lines now at the ready and us placing down more bugs for buffs that took place later on, I knew exactly where I was headed, the picnic table. I planned on getting myself a stuffed bee. As awful as that sounded, I wanted more. I know this was super late into the game, but what better time than to try and complete the pond lab? One of the most important things we needed was sunken bones. They were pretty rare in some places and had me searching in the bottom of the pond for quite some time. All in all, with our first haul back, we had plenty to go around, but not enough. My second time in the pond and a nice lantern with us, I was checking out more spots missed and a little cave. Unfortunately, I did die, but I was able to find some juicy treasures hidden below. We did get luckier than ever before with this next part. Mutation Mertine? I got a Mertine mutation, guys. But I also need to go back now. With the mutation now at the ready to rock and roll, traversing the waters was the easiest thing ever. I found so many secrets hidden below as we picked up many bones needed and making our way back to base just in time for dinner. All right, we got the better one. Look at this. You ready? Ooh, oxygen even better. The bones now giving me a new breathing apparatus and diving back into the waters once more, we finally reached the depths needed to turn on the power for the pond. From one power switch to the next, the hardest thing about all of this was trying to jump from the water inside to the hatch. Why was that so hard? Why was that so hard? That and the robots. So many robots. With the last super chip in hand, Burgle was about to be the happiest camper around. Cutscene! <laughs> Look at it! Oh, I love this part. All of the things are opening now. Oh, that is beautiful. Now it was time to test my luck while picking up the sizzle armor. With a bunch of those scary larvas dead, we had some time to pick up charcoal finally. Even with the sizzle protection and full sizzle armor, like that is, that is hot. I could have easily lived throughout that, but sadly didn't have the actual sizzle mutation activated. All right, here they are. All tucked in with the outfits and backpacks they were snatched in. As requested, they're strapped and synced with scabbies for whatever they might run into down there. You do realize the director will have our heads if he finds out we're removing company property? Can you sleep at night with what this company is doing? We need to do something. Is Dr. Tully even alive? The field team reported him missing months ago. You are prolonging the inevitable. Wendell, wherever he is, is the only hope for these kids. I'll make the delivery to his yard discreetly. No one is even going to know. 
I hope you know what you're doing. Can I just say, using that level 3 weapon against the bees was a real game changer. The last thing to do was to find our way through the sandbox as I needed a lot more salt and there was a specific cave with them. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. I don't even remember how to get all the other weapons. The, there was like the Coltana, the salt thingy, the mint thingy. If you guys want to let me know how to get those when I do another video of this, because I'm going to be doing another video of this difficulty, let me know. That would be fantastic. I'm focusing so hard, guys. I'm, oh my god, he does. See, so that one you have to back up on because they go ham on you. Whoa, oh, oh. You're not going for me, right? Hi, 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 ho, she is. Oh my god. Like, what am I even supposed to do at that point? Honestly? Back at it again, I found myself near the charcoal pit. What was so difficult with this fight was the healing. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not like that. Is that different? Everything else about it was normal. I couldn't manage the regeneration it had. The only way I could really deal with this roly-poly was cheesing it as best I could. I mean, this is kind of silly, but it's it's working, you know? It's actually kind of working. <gasps> one more, one more, one more. Yes! Roly poly is down. Oh my gosh. The two things I looked more into was arrows and upgrades. We needed more brittle stones. With all the sap we had, all that was left to do was find more larva. Yeah, they're really not gonna like me. This weapon is way too strong, man. Like, look at that. With our bows at the ready and potions good to go, we would travel back to the toughest place around. Oh, it is. Ooh, I get to cheese you, my friend. Oh, the cheese begins. All that was left to do was set up another anchor point and get ourselves ready for some really big danger and fun. Okay, fun too. And then bam. All right. Ending off the night, I was curious to see what Burgle had to say. Oh. Oh, oh, my heart. Oh, 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 what are you doing in here? Oh my God, what the fudge? Okay, I gotta, I gotta. Oh, that was freaky, man. That was, oh, I think there's also. Yes, there. Hello, Mega Milk Molar. Woo, hello, hello. The crossbow was easily my go-to, but now I needed a better set of armor for this ranged build. Great. Look at that. 35% damage. Woo, baby. The biggest thing to help me wasn't even the armor. My crossbow had some good stuns and I loved it. Great. Stay right there. Yay. Alrighty. Okay, this is kind of really like way too nice. Oh, <gasps> and I got the sharpshooter. As tempted as I was, the only way to really see what this backyard had was to go as deep as I could than ever before. See what was really out there. All I could say, I mean, I was at a loss for words. There's not much I could really say. So these are new. Hello. Um, could I be worried? Wasp, wasp. I've got one potion. Yeah, I'm super, um, I'm a little scared. I feel like I'm in too deep here. I should, shouldn't be here. Hmm. That place is terrifying. Holy crap. There's wasps. There's wasp drones. Like what? What is happening? I, I blinked and this game got too many updates. <laughs> There's so many things going on. What do we get? What do we get? Repair. Ooh, black ox crossbow and all the other things. With a new day here, we were out and about, quickly gathering all the ingredients for some more potions. I was running low for a bit there, but within some time, we had more than enough clay to go around, taking all we had back home and storing it away. We also needed more casings. So as you know me, I did have another great idea. I, I don't know why I'm going to do this. I really have no idea why i'm not gonna tell you why i'm not gonna try to explain myself i'm just i'm, I'm curious i want to see how close is too close you know how close is too close like how close can i get and if i die do i have to come back in here this is not good is this too close what if you just like what if you go in front of them though could i go in front of them 
This is me facing my fears. This is I I don't like this. I I'm trying to be as normal and sound as normal as possible. Oh my oh god. I've been poisoned. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. Nope. Nope. We got okay. Between the last inventory full of both mites and pebbles, we had just enough to start spamming create more potions button. Even this roly poly put itself into quite the position, giving me the chance to cheese yet another bug. And there's another one. Do, 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 do. The last thing we did for the night had us diving back into the water, swimming towards the pond lab, and picking up all the Brussels sprouts we could. Day 93 was a big one because I really wanted to see more of the wasps and what they were all about. Whoa! There's the thing. Holy crap. I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I need to get on the right side. Like, actually, though. Ooh, that's not the right side. Um, oh, kill one of you guys. I know it's just salty, but. Oh, crap. We're about to get super salty in here. Ooh. Yeah, here we go. All right. Oh, God, you're kind of big, huh? They do poison poison. Oh, that's not good. I just want to fight one, you know? Just one. Just give me one. What? I just want to fight one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I didn't realize you were coming back. Wasp drone? What's happening? What's the drone doing? Come on. Yeah. Do I have to... Yo, it's calling other help. What are you? My dude, what are you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Woo! Oh, oh God. Woo! Poison. I don't like the poison. It freaks me out. Can I just, like, melee this dude? What if I do this? Okay, you do your thing. I'm going up here. I want to try something. This is dumb. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. What am I doing? Oh! I forgot. I Okay. I'm going to be honest. I kind of panicked with the whole, like, I got to do the uh, thing. Of course, dying wasn't part of the plan, but so wasn't wasps being both annoying and hard to kill. If that wasn't going to work, then the next best thing was to try and gather loop of leather and lint that I could find. Only thing was, I couldn't remember for the life of me where they were. I love, man, I always say this, but the, the color on this, like the metallic red color, oh, it makes my jingles bell. Like it makes them jingles bell so much. You ever just, your jingles just bells? Oh God, I'm getting so bell right now. Oh, jingle all the way. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right. Woo! Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Yeah, we made it. All right. Even this, even this. Yeah, here we go. This is Dr. Tully's thing. I gotta break this open, level three. Moments later, I could have sworn this mat had exactly what I needed. As I followed some of these different ladybugs the next day, I found the hiding spot and exactly what I would need. Since we didn't have the level three ax needed to actually chop these down, it was time for a little stroll. Termites, here I come. Did they change the inside of this? I don't remember this being a thing. And it also says widow, like widow web sacks for little widow, widow babies. <laughs> get it? You're a widow, baby. It almost felt unreal because things started coming together nicely. Having just what we needed with a level three ax, I knew exactly what I wanted. And with a great big smile on my face, I did just that. With a little more time to spend, I figured another run for more termites might come in handy. Later in the day, I found something new and completely out of nowhere. Yeah, I have no idea what spiky burr is. Like in real life, I, kn I know what this resembles, but in the actual game, not a clue. To be fair though, I never actually went in here in my other playthrough. So, I mean, this could have been here. I just never got to it at that point. Something else that sort of fell into my lap or I fell into it's the lint we needed. Taking everything we had back home, we were so close to the next jump in tears. With a new morning here and ready for a brand new start, this would take us very far into the next parts of the game. I also built myself a roly poly statue. No idea why I didn't mark it at the time. Okay, we're gonna move you though. Um, please, please help actually. 
we'll put them on the sides that are being like used in the respective nature so this one mostly well i mean is over there too but we'll put it here Having even more bug parts farmed up, it was time to start placing the stuffed bugs down. With our very last day here, day 100, I couldn't believe how much I personally fit into this video, but also how far I'd come. Trying to fit all the content I did in it, and even then, like, there's still so much more that I haven't gotten to. I did a little portion of the wasps, but, like, I wanted to show a little bit more, or at least some that I could. Especially with the drones. Those things are annoying as heck, oh my god. You think you could kill me? Well, I mean, you could kill me, easily. Ooh, actually, I wanted to see something. There was something here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This. I wanted to see this. This isn't it? Okay. I need to get oh my god. Dude, Black Widow got poisoned? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Where, where, where? Oh, the poison. What? Oh, I probably should have scanned that. Yo, the poison from those guys. I had to use like seven potions. We made it this far in a single video, mind you, okay? I had two videos. Of course, we did more things because two videos, it just makes more sense. You're going to have more time and more days for everything. But that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you so much for still showing me support to this day. I really wouldn't be here if, if it wasn't for you guys. If not for all of you, I just seriously would not be here. I love and appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys are doing all right doing okay staying healthy and safe out there i love your faces i'll see you in my next video this is ray pandas signing out bye guys bye everybody